Yes, it's something that I have strived for for over three years now. And I promised my husband when I saw his coffin go in the grave that I would never let his name be forgotten. And this is his legacy that I'm starting up tonight. And you must be very proud of the two girls here for what they've achieved. Extremely proud of them. There's, I have like five, six um, in my little team. And these two of them have been exceptional. You know, they're very, very good. They're my ambassadors, as I call them. And they are fantastic girls. So proud of them, yes. And yet, such a contrast between the girls here and those young people who are out on the streets. That must uh, be something that, that is very disappointing to you. It is, but... I mean, if we could get just into some of their heads, you know, this is, this is my ideal, um, that I could just get talking to some of those children to show them the proper way, you know, to take them away from this entrenchment and um, indoctrination, you know. I want to do the best I can to try and talk to them, to, um, you know, reward them for good behaviour, as they say, and young kids. And, but that's what I want to do tonight, all these awards, this is what we're doing tonight, we're giving them out to um, reward young children for their decency and for their, not for their decency, but you know, for, for being courageous and for um, not being sectarian and that, that's what I want to do. Does it disappoint you very much to see young people out on the streets attacking police officers in particular? Of course it does, it's, it's um, very disheartening to see that because, you know, on one end you have these kids and then on the other end you have the other and I think to myself I just wish I could get into their little heads you know and talk to them and let them see that there is a better way you know that, that you don't have to um, be involved in all of this and it's, it's not good because you'll end up in jail or worse so this is what I'm trying to do and hopefully someone will listen. And what would be your message to young people especially in today's society? To consider what you're doing, um, consider where you want to go, consider what you want to be, um, give peace a chance, um, think, think about where, you, where you're going, what you want to achieve out of life and um, try and be positive and go down a route that is good for you, not you know, your, these guys on the streets telling you what to do and pushing you into things that you don't want to be in. You can say no and just move on.